on divorce court today. They met on the freeway and fell in love, but now their marriage is running in reverse. Deshawn says her husband has grown lazy, and Maurice claims she is always finding new ways to punish him. Deshawn Gadsden and Maurice Gadsden have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony in divorce court starts now. Mr. and Mrs. Gadsden, the two of you are married. You do not want to be married anymore, and you have some financial matters you would like me to resolve. However, before we get to that, I got to ask you, Mrs. Gadsden, you said the two of you met on the freeway and fell in love. How does one accomplish that? <laughs> well, we didn't exactly fall in love on the freeway, but we did meet on the freeway. Yeah, I could Well, say. how does one do that? Well, it was no cars on the freeway at that time. It was just like five cars. Just the cars. two of you? Yeah, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. It was like empty. And we was like side to like side by side. I drove up to his car because it was, you know, it was nice. And did you flag him down? Did you say get off at the ne next no, exit? No, we, we was just driving. I was in the car with someone and we rode past his car and we didn't, his seat was reclined all the way back. And I was just looking like nobody's in the car. And, you know, so he you stood, were he got riding, up. You were yeah, driving he, like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you were yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so how, how did you catch up with her later? Well, I didn't, I didn't, technically, it was, it was traffic. I don't, I don't, I don't know if she remembers or not, but it was traffic. I mean, it, it wasn't just I'm us trying two. to figure out how two people going in the same direction My, on the freeway hook up phone. together. He flashed his phone, and I, we was window to window on the freeway. So he flashed his phone, yes, and, and you took his phone number down? <laughs> yes, that's what happened. That's exactly Lord how have we... have mercy. That's Where exactly do you people we... live? <laughs> <laughs> we... You need to keep your eyes on the road. It was, I, I don't know what he's talking about. There was no traffic. It was traffic. No such thing as no traffic. I might be out there. It was so clear. Like, well, there anyway, were five cars. <laughs> so you got married a couple of years later. Yes. You say things have changed to the point where you don't want to be married anymore. Explain that to me, Mrs. Gatson. Yes, well, what changed? Well, when we got married, everything was great. I thought, you know, that I was going to be married Prince Charming. He was so, 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 so perfect for me. Like, I never met nobody like him when we were dating. Once we got married, oh my goodness, like he took off a mask. Like, it's, he turned to a completely different person. Like, uh, he's so immature. He is lazy. I'm not, I'm not lazy. You are lazy. I'm not, I'm not he lazy. is very lazy. I, and no. he has no sense of responsibility. Give me some examples of those things. Like, if I leave the house and it's a mess, I say, Maurice, are you going to clean up a bit? You know, our daughter's running around, tearing everything up. Are you going to, are you going to clean up? He says, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. As soon as I get off of work, there's, it looks worse than when I left. That's Does he true. work as well? He works, but mm -hmm. the days when I work in the daytime, he's home. Uh -huh. So he'll probably leave like at five in the morning or something. So he's home. He got all afternoon, all night. And he will just sit there and let her tear up the house. I don't know if he's helping her tear up the house, but it oh, looks like it. It's torn up. Yeah. Mr. Gatson, your reply she, to that. She, she does the same thing. I mean, when she goes to work at night, I mean, like, like I said, like I'm not, she's not lying. I do work five o'clock in the morning. Right. I get off around one, you know, two o'clock or whatnot. When I get home, I'm tired. Just like when she gets home, she's tired, mm -hmm. you know? So, so of course we, we have a one year old yeah. daughter that, that runs, that's, and are really energetic. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm gonna let her play around and everything. And if she's not done, I'm not gonna clean up if she's not done. Let her finish. She's a kid. Now, when she goes to sleep, that's when I clean. No. Yes, mm -hmm. I, that's... I will come home and he's on the phone, lounging, watching ESPN or something. Like, he just sit there on his phone. So, Maurice, I... you haven't cleaned up yet? You haven't did gotcha. nothing? Mr. Gadsden, what is your primary complaint with Mrs. Gadsden? The sex. We don't have sex. Not enough sex. Not enough or... sex. Okay. She or no sex at all? No, no, no. It's every once in a while. I, if it was up to me, I have sex every day. She's beautiful. Look at her. I mean, you can't be mad at that, you know? Mm -mm. I, but it... I'm she, not... She, she mm -mm. doesn't... She, I'm not gonna have sex, and I can't even get you to help me. I can't get no dinner cooked. I can't get a back massage. I can't get anything. How can I be so, like, into it and so, like, 
taken so quick and it's like I have another when, child. When I, when How I, can I be wanting to do it? I feel like I'm going to be with a toddler. He's when, so when childish. I, when I ask you about your day, you shut down. No. You don't say anything. I haven't heard well, that in tell years. Me something. I haven't heard that in years. How's your day? I haven't heard that in years, Judge. Like, I will, everything will be so much more smoother. You say he's addicted to porn. <laughs> Oh, yes. Tell me he, what he's done that he's, makes you believe he's addicted he, to porn. Okay, when we was dating, he used to <laughs> always have all these sites on his phone, Your Honor, of these, I'm not going to say the names of them, but these girls, and, like, it's to be multiple, multiple of them. And all of a sudden, I come home, he want to try different stuff. So he got to be looking at, you know, something. He must have seen something that he liked because he's looking, he want me to just get out my work clothes and do all this crazy stuff. And then I'm like, what is, I'm like, what did you, what did hey. you find this? When did you, when did you start doing this? Now, you know? now, now Ms. Mr. Gadsden, are you getting unusual? Yes, like, did um, you just, who did, who well, did this? I would, well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Are, no, are you, no, uh. I'm not, I'm, I'm not addicted to porn. Like, I don't, but I don't, you do I don't, watch I don't, it. I don't, I don't, I don't know where she gets that from. I have watched it. I mm. have watched it. And, and, do, and, and do you get and ideas it, from it? Yeah, that's that's what you watch it for to get right. ideas. You know, uh -huh. you know, all the time, all the time, <laughs> all the time. I ain't gonna lie. I, that's what you. That's blue. what you watch it for. Because if I am willing, it'll be some different <laughs> stuff. Like I'm not gonna be put into no pretzel. Like for real. Where did you learn this from? Like. <laughs> For real, I'm not. Mm -mm, I'm not putting all that. Okay. No, hey, I'm, uh, not, I'm not I trying. To, I'm not trying to mm -mm. put you in a press. I'm, I'm, mm -mm. I'm, I'm just experimenting. He's just trying to keep it lively, Miss Gadsden. Keep it alive. Hang on, hang on. He's just keep trying to keep it lively. He's just trying to keep it fresh <laughs> and new and exciting. And he's not going outside of the house, so he just wants to. Yeah. Keep it running. I'd rather, I'd rather, you get, know it, I'd rather get it from you than somebody else. Next, Maurice says to Sean nags and belittles him. But can he make those accusations stick? Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Couples in crisis, real resolution. Divorce Court continues. I'm going to give you a quick 30-second advice on how to get more sex. For men, sex is here. For women, sex is here. It is intertwined in the entire relationship. It, it, it has to do how, you, how, they feel, how we feel about ourselves. And we feel about ourselves based a lot on how you feel about us. And so if you treat us like you cook and you clean and you work and, and, and you're not special, we don't feel sexual. It's just not an urge to merge that you guys have. It is an urge to solidify a relationship. So when you look at it that way, you've got to say, this is not a separate act. This is going to be a culmination of the day. And you've got to, got to treat her like a person not mm -hmm. a person from whom you get sex. Two right. different things. But, uh, but I do, I do. But Mr. Gadsden, what I'm trying to say is, don't tell me what you're doing mm -hmm. when what you're doing isn't working. Mm -hmm. See, so yeah, you with yeah, me? Yeah. I'm just trying to help you out. Now, from there, we're going to go to here. Uh, you say that she tries to wear the pants in the family. What do you mean by that? Uh, she's constantly... Uh, just talking about me, just, you know. Talking about you in what fashion? Nagging, nagging to me, you know. About? Talking down to me, belittling me, you know. I do making, not. Making, making me feel not like I'm right. nothing. No. Now, Mr. Gadsden, hang on. Are you sure she's doing that or you just feel that way because she's you feel the that. responsibility of, she, of pulling in more money than you do? No, she's doing that. That's what she does. Tell me some of the things that she says. Let me see. For an example... No. Now, you know, now, now, Mr. Gaz, let me tell you this. I can list off for you in five minutes mm. 25 of the worst things I've ever heard my husband say to me. Mm. Rattle them off. You know why? Because he said them. Right. I don't think they were said to you. I think you feel less exactly, than exactly because you're not. Is. If you don't be quiet, that's part of the problem. You talk too much and you're bothering him because you're bothering me. And I've only known you for 10 minutes. 
You may feel that way, but it's not that way. And you think, you think less of yourself, so you project that on her. Right. You know what I mean? And, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, Mr. Gadsden, because that means you define in part your manhood by your ability to care for your family. And that's a totally positive thing as long as you don't go negative with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. You say that he is a spender and you are a saver, and that causes difficulty yes. with, with the finances. Yes. Well, when it comes to um, me telling him, like, okay, well, if I'm going to be paying for this or that, he probably think that I'm belittling him. But he will spend his last dime on video games or, like, e-cigarettes or something. Like, he has no sense of responsibility. He will just spend and spend and spend, think he need all this stuff. And I'm like... <laughs> What about the bills that's coming up? Okay, let's, he talk, just about all your, of a let's sudden... talk about your shopping, though. Okay, every time let's talk about her shopping. How much does Mrs. Gadsden shop? How much does she shop? She shops a lot. She shops a lot. Every time I look in the door, there's something new. Where'd you get this? Oh, I for... just bought it when I was, you know, going out buying new stuff. With my, you Do you know, shop a lot, Ms. Gadsden? I shop for our daughter. No, you that's shop for who yourself. That's I shop for. She's constantly growing. She's yeah, a you, little you winner shop, that looks like a daughter. I shop. You shop for our daughter, but at the or same the time, house. you get something for house. yourself, too. So Mr. Gaston, yes, 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 let, let like her finish. Do, do, when you're at the mall, though, and you're walking down the mall, and you look to your left, and there's this cute little purse, because it's happened to me. You go, and, eh, well, yeah, and then behind the purse, there's some shoes. And you, do you do that? <laughs> yeah, you do, <laughs> don't you? No, don't you? Not, okay, yes, yes, I've you do. done it. I've done it before, but not when I know... I have to be responsible. If I have to go to the mall, if anything, it's not for me. I got it. When Divorce Court continues, are intimacy issues ruining this relationship? Or are Maurice and Tashawn building their own roadblocks? Do you agree with Tashawn that Maurice is bad with money? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now, 1-800-282-1991. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Mr. Gatson, I, I want to get down to a couple of issues and stories because we can't seem to get quite get there. So I looked in your papers. You said that one of the reasons you don't think you're getting sex is because the one-year-old sleeps in the bed. Yeah. And you have an issue with that. Why don't you tell me what's going on, why, why the one-year-old's in bed, and what kind of discussions have you had about it? Ever since our <laughs> child was born, she was in the bed with this from, you know, from the, the time being. So... Um, what we try to do, I mean, we try to get a crib and, and everything, but it just didn't work. She always wanted the baby in the bed with us. So. Ms. Gatson got the baby in the bed with you, one, yeah. one year old, the yeah. whole time? Yeah. Like, I don't see why not. But he's like... a man, though. I mean, at some point, he wants a wife. Yeah. And, and, and you, and you... I want a husband, Your Honor. And it's like, if, if he, if he was a little bit different, Okay, the baby would be in an, another room. You know, she'd be in her bed, but what's the point of moving I, that, her? That doesn't make any sense to me. You what put the that? baby in the bed because he's not a good enough husband. No, that doesn't make if, sense. If, it was, if she wasn't you there, want he would the be baby trying to in jump the, Ms. Gadsden, I'm talking. You want the baby in the bed. Yeah. That's, how, that's what makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. And I think your marriage is suffering in part as a function of that. Would you not agree? Maybe a little bit, but not really. Not like, really. No. So you think the main problem is is that you do 90% of the cooking and cleaning and you're making all of the money. Is that what you're telling me? Well, kind of. That's kind of how it is. Like, I'm making... Yes, I'm, I'm the breadwinner right now. Not that I want to be. Like, I'd rather just, you know, be home most of the time. I'd rather... Are you, are, are you resentful that you are the breadwinner? Does that make... Do you think it makes me that mad. should be his job? Yes, I do. Let me ask you this, Mr. Gadsden. What have you done to further the marriage, other than economics? Because we're talking about money and dishes so far. That's it. What do you do as a couple 
If you don't tell me I'm beautiful. Miss Gatson, nothing. part of the problem is that he's irritated beyond all belief because you never shut your mouth. That's you need to I shut your mouth. That's every day. Part of the reason you don't know what's going wrong is and because I, you don't listen. You, you don't that. listen either, Mr. Gatson. <laughs> you be quiet too. The two of you are yap, yap, yapping, talking across each other, talking past each other. No, nothing can get resolved. You guys don't have these big dramatic problems. They're small and they're solvable, but neither one of you wants to take the time to close their mouth and listen. Neither one of you wants to take the time to ask the other person, hey, what's your position? Let me think about her position. Hey, this is difficult for her. Let me do this. Small, small kindness here earns a small kindness there. It's very easy to resolve the things that you're talking about, but you're so busy being mad about it, you can't decide to do anything positive about it. It's just crazy. It, you know, he's not, you know, it's not about he's running around cheating, sleeping with your sister or anything like that. She's not out right. boochie boochie dancing at the bar. Right. You guys right. are talking about chores yeah. and checks and it's not like you're not working. And I tell her it's stupid, but she doesn't hear that. See? Either. That's it's part of the problem. You tell her it's stupid. That is not how you have a conversation, by telling somebody else they're stupid. That doesn't work at all. You sit down and you say, hey, here's where we are. Here's where I want to be. What would you need from me? What do I need from you? You're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. I did not get anybody anywhere. Nice. If you want to explain something to somebody, the best way to be heard is to listen. You start where other people are, and you slowly walk them home. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. Divorce Court. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling right now. So you're paying attention? Yes. What did you hear me just say? We need to just chill and listen but to each other, but that's it's not all finances. Like Mr. Gatson, he complains about me nagging and not doing certain things, is because he don't, he don't even take that extra mile to be like, oh, I love you all the time, or tell me I'm beautiful. Like, I've, I just had a one-year-old, so I'm not, you know, the same size as I was when, before I had her. Miss Gatson, you didn't hear a word I said, did you? I did, but it's just like... What did I say? <sighs> that we just need to talk it out, but it's more than that. He I don't... didn't... That's not just what I said. That's not what I said at all. The main point of what I said is you two need to listen to the other person's needs and try to understand. This is how you have a conversation. Hun, I'm not, a, I'm upset about this and I'm not gonna have sex and the baby's gonna be in the bed, blah, blah, blah. You don't do that. You say, babe, mm -hmm. I'm feeling unloved and unhappy and I need something from you. Your response is, what do you need? Your response is something rational and reasonable, not a complaint, <laughs> yeah. not a long list of failures on his part, but one specific thing that he could do to make you a little happy. And then you say, thank you for that. What do you need from me? That, that, that's how you have a conversation. But Judge, I've tried that before. Like, it's hard to talk to him. He's not this quiet guy. He's not easy to I'm talk to. I'm yelling at him, too. He's, yeah, but he's not easy to talk to when we're at home. If I will try to have a conversation, like, okay, we need to just Okay, sit how down. much money do you want? I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. How much do you want from him? I would just, like, help with the bills and... Uh, you got to come with something stuff. reasonable, Mrs. Gatson. I can't help you. If you can't tell me what you want, I can't give it to you. You said you want 1200 in transitional support. Yes. But then you come in here and tell me that you, you, you're the, the, uh, the, the breadwinner. You, you can't get transitional support from the person who isn't winning the bread. Mm -hmm. So I, it doesn't make any sense to me. I personally think you two need to stay together. I personally think you're not a bad couple. I think you got to get off, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, and, and, and start talking what I want, what I want, what I want, which mm. is a better marriage. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't keep... <laughs> you know? Yeah. Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Are you the man of the house? Yeah, I am. Do you feel that's important to you? Yes. Okay. Act like one. <laughs> there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Maurice and Tashawn agree with the judge, and Maurice has promised to take the lead in rebuilding their relationship. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll-free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter 
at Divorce Court.